Liz, we love your app. How on earth did you come up with the idea of Realm? Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I got screwed over renovating. You know, I'm I'm a yeah, I'm a I'm a avid renovator myself. I, I love doing home projects, big ones, small ones. My day job was working in tech. And I was actually working in, in real estate data tech where we were crunching numbers for professional investors to help them make better investments. A side hustle and my kind of passion is doing renovation projects. I was shocked where I'm like, hey, for most parts of my life, what I eat, you know, how I manage my stock portfolio, there's like all these cool places to turn and people that can help me and give me guidance. But for my house, I'm cobbling together most of this on my own, like asking my, my parents, going down the Google abyss of like, how much should this cost or what's possible? So I was just like, wait, the world shouldn't work that way. We should give people a single spot to navigate most of these big home decisions. Yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's such a major project compared to those little things that do have specific apps for them. The fact that the renovating world is like, you're on your own is kind of crazy, right? Totally. I mean, I was blown away too, you know, as I moved into the world of being a homeowner, which was such a big life milestone for myself. The home has such a huge part for the average American. It makes up the majority of their assets. It's their single biggest financial asset for sure. So it's like, wait, all my time's here. All my money is here. What's up? <laughs> yeah, it's funny, great funny you say that. And it, it's also kind of poignant that you're in a coffee shop because that's actually how Steve and I kind of started our business. We looked at other other renovators that are out there. We wanted to be the Starbucks of the renovation world. <laughs> I don't know if you're in a Starbucks, so no plug that we're not sponsored by Starbucks. I'm not. I'll, I'll, but we're getting no Starbucks. kickbacks. No kickbacks <laughs> from Starbucks. We didn't really understand why in the world of renovating, why customer service was not mm -hmm. a focal point. Sometimes you'd get a contractor that wasn't rough around the edges and they'll come in with a, a totally. tape here and they'll be super respectful and you'll be like, wow, I think I'm in good hands. And the next thing you know, you haven't seen that guy or, or woman again in three months. All you're getting are these trades who are, you don't know them, you don't trust them, they, they don't communicate well with you and you're just left in this weird limbo. And how much is it going to cost? Where did my contractor go? And so it felt for us like the bar was so low. That's how we got into this position of becoming influencers was because we're able to speak the homeowner speak because we Completely. aren't the contractors. And we're also able to now speak the contractor talk because we, we do renovations and that's what we do for a living. We're very aligned in, in charging yeah. this forward and bringing transparency to a space that's historically been really opaque. And I think when I think about the, the general contractor side of it, and we talk about this a lot at Realm is, you know, when we say, hey, the contractor doesn't give you the timeline or doesn't follow up, like a lot of the times that they don't have bad intentions. It's just that they're expected to do a lot of things that they're not trained on or they're not good at. Do customer support and marketing and sales and negotiation while they're also like leveling a floor. Like those are pretty different things. You know, we can, I think, you know, partner with people like you to say, hey, both sides of the marketplace need some help here. You know, homeowners and then the, you know, contractors, architects, et cetera, on the other side. Like how can we make that easier for everyone involved? Totally. To no fault of, of anyone's. If you are a builder and that's the thing that you love doing, maybe you don't love the client interface so much, or maybe that's not a strong yeah. suit for you. And that doesn't make you a worse contractor or a worse builder or a worse person for that matter. Most of the time, it's not intentional. If there's a way to make that easier, then why wouldn't we be doing that, right? Completely, completely. So our attitude and our mission is we want to help homeowners decide what to do and then help them do those things seamlessly. But like, what does that actually mean? And what are some of the core things in, in the app? And we're really focused on, I would say three things right now. So first is understanding what projects a homeowner might want to do or should do, and then giving them any important information that can answer tough questions about those projects, or just grow a homeowner's excitement about it. So if you tell Realm, hey, I want to renovate this kitchen and I want granite countertops and a six burner stove, we'll track all of that for you and tell you if the price on that project's going up or down. That way you can make an informed decision of when the right time to do that is. As we were going through the app and, and trying it out, I would view a house in Tennessee, for example, yeah. and I do a different house in, in Oregon. That one house in Tennessee at the top of Realm's recommendation list was to get the HVAC changed and to change your hot water tank. But going to the house in Oregon, all of a sudden, the number one suggestion for that house was to upgrade its kitchen and upgrade the bathroom yeah. for, for return of investment. How are you getting that information? Yeah. Because it seems very specific and very accurate. It is. So all of our recommendations are property specific. So we have customized, personalized recommendations for over 80 million homes in the US. And that was definitely no easy feat. When I started Realm, that was really part of our insights mission was to say, okay, let's take a bunch of information that's either offline or really, really hard to navigate and put it in one spot and make it simple. So using your example of like, hey, what's the top recommended project? 
is it a kitchen or is it an HVAC? There's a whole bunch of things Realm has to understand and be good at just to give you that recommendation. First is we have to know what you've done to your house in the past. You jokingly say like car facts for your house. What's been done? What hasn't been done? And that tells us things like, oh, wait, your HVAC may need to be replaced or not. So first we have to understand that. Next is we have to understand what's possible for your property. And that's all information that we've built in-house. We've gone uh, individually to over 10,000 municipalities. Are you allowed to add an addition? Can you build an ADU? How high can you build? And we've made all of that information just easy to access with one click in the app. And then the last thing we, we care about is what does the homeowner care about? You and I could live next door. Or if you want to have really awesome backyard you know, parties and I want to have the most Zen yoga studio, like you right. should probably do different things. It's like, hey, what's happened to your property in the past? What's possible on your property? And then last, which is the homeowner prioritize or most care about? There's three different ways that Realm does data. So the first is we do pull all the publicly available information, building permits or tax assessor data. The second thing we do is we build our own data in-house. So we go to these municipalities, we get all that information, then we build an insights layer on top that makes it easy to understand for the homeowner. Our own home valuation model or ROI at the project level, all stuff that's really helpful for the homeowner, but no one else has. And then last is the homeowner gives us information. When a homeowner gives us information, we don't share that with others. That's only viewable for that specific homeowner. Sounds like a lot of that the substance of Realm is really a very intelligent algorithm that you guys have created through these various sources, which is super impressive. Like, obviously, it, it helps homeowners. But how does Realm make money? We really view our role to, to make sure both sides are set up for success. So every single project that a homeowner does with one of our contracts they're assigned an advisor, and that's a full-time Realm employee that helps them throughout the whole project. And they eliminate a lot of the back and forth or confusion that typically exists between a homeowner and a contractor. First, they set what a fair price is up front using all of our data. That way the homeowner knows before they get any bids what range to expect. They do all the scheduling. They collect the bids. They level them. They negotiate them. You can manage expectations and set both sides up for success from the start. It's almost like you have a... a contractor, contractor, like a concierge service that allows the contractor to contract the construction. And then you guys handle the, the business, the nitty gritty, the stuff yeah. that, that might not totally. Be and I was going to say too, that from our perspective, we, we really do see our business through the lens of our, of our, clients. we do understand how yeah. complicated, stressful it can all be. I think most of the problems just come down to mismanaging expectations and communication from a contractor's perspective. Someone else is, is there helping you to navigate those difficult conversations. If the homeowner decides they want to upgrade, you know, that right. granite to marble halfway through, like that's going to be more expensive. But no. often it's something that was, you know, unplanned from the start. And that could be because the contractor, you know, opened up the, the walls and you know, there, there needed to be more, more supporting beams or material prices went up. So what we really focus on is eliminating that second category of change orders. That really there's only change orders when the homeowner is saying, hey, you know, I want to do something that we didn't initially plan on. That's exactly our opinion on it too, is we tell clients all the time, if contractors are consistently surprised by things, yeah. <laughs> they're probably not that experienced because you shouldn't be surprised. You should expect to see some of the things behind the wall. We know we're not going to find perfectly insulated walls. We're going to find plaster and yeah. lath. Find that's going to be framing that's notched and ruined. Mm -hmm. Tell them, you know, just be aware of the of the lesser quotes because those quotes and those proposals they're going to turn into our quote just later on. And the more people know up front, the better because it makes our job easier. We don't want to deal with the headache of having to tell people it's more money. That's not fun for us. And there's also implications to the process, right? As a homeowner, if there's change orders, you might not have gotten enough financing and you can end up in a jam midway through the project where it's like, oh shoot, I might have to give up some stuff. That it's that's sort of like the uh, the HGTV expected surprise moment yeah. in every episode ever done. Like, mm, you're not gonna get those countertops because we gotta put a structural beam in, and then there's cut to the yeah. disappointed clients, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, we didn't know that was a structural wall. You're like, Yeah, I'm pretty sure so, you made that guess <laughs> from the first photo. So Liz, I'm curious Let's say a homeowner chooses to go with Realm and they, they have a project in mind and they want to decide which contractor they want to use through the Realm app. Are they presented with a, a number of choices? And then how, how, do they, how do they get to pick which contractor will be right for them? So once a homeowner starts working with us, they start working with their one-on-one their -on -one advisor and the advisor starts to really understand what their preferences are. They basically say, hey, these are the things that you want to do. Usually it's not for a single year. It's like in five years, what do you want your home to be like? And that could be like, I want to be out of my home. I want to sell it. So then our yeah. recommendations will be much more ROI focused. Or it could be like, I want to grow my family here. So first, it's really building that property plan and understanding the homeowner's preference. And we'll turn to our contractor network 
and it's a double opt-in. So we say, Hey, you know, Hey contractors who wants a shot to bid on this. And usually we get between five and 10 contractors and say like, Hey, I'd like to bid on that. We pick the three that we think are a best match, the best fit for the homeowner and then schedule on-site visits, usually in a single day, but sometimes it's spread out over a week for the homeowner to meet them and, and then give us feedback on who did they think was best? What did they like? What did they not like? And we coach both sides through that. So if the homeowner says, hey, you know what? Like Steve was great, but he was 10 minutes late and it matters that people are on time to meet. Then we'll say like, Steve, you were great. Don't be 10 minutes late next time. Yeah, they sounds exactly. like they really know him. Those people really understand late. me. They know me. <laughs> he, was, he was typically 10 minutes late for sure. The realm advisor thing seems super exciting to me. And, I, and I'm curious yeah. when that, when that takes, like, effect. what are you entitled to asking questions about? It's, it's a great question. A lot of homeowners like to work with us on a small project or two, and then six months, nine months down the road, do that much larger project. All that we require is if you do leverage well, our advisory service and marketplace, you basically pay us a small deposit and that basically locks in our advisory service indefinitely. So now you have that person in your court doing all the work for you. We will start with any size and project. We, we refund you that deposit once you do the first big thing with us. We actually credit that back to the homeowner. What are some sort of feedback that you get that you didn't expect to get? So something that was a sort of an added benefit that maybe yep. you didn't see coming in the beginning. Yeah. So a couple of things. One is I did not think Realm would be taking the role of the home equity educators. And we definitely have. So uh, the majority of our customers come to us to understand often for the first time, what's their home equity balance? How much of that can they tap into? How much of that should they, given their in where interest rates are and their credit score? Um, and I didn't realize that that was such a gap in the market. Like navigating home equity and home credit is a huge thing that even really savvy professionals, there's no training in school for that. When you pull up your bank account, it's even hard to find your mortgage balance. You got to click around like nine or 10 times. We're launching uh, in the next you know, four to five weeks a finance hub or home equity hub in the mobile app. So keep keep an eye out for that, where it's really going to be the place that you can turn to, to navigate most of those things. So I think that was one. And I think the second is, is this idea of, of coming up with this multi-year plan. Homeowners generally know where they're trying to go personally in five to 10 years, whether it's career, family, maybe location, but then like figuring out how your house fits into that and when you should invest, when you shouldn't invest, how you should invest. It's a lot. It's not a skill set the average person has. People come to us for this multi-year relationship and plan, and they want this guide or advisor throughout the whole thing. The first time you buy a house, when we ask homeowners, first-time homeowners, how do you feel? The single word they all say is overwhelmed. Yeah. It's like, terrified. What, what do I do? Yeah, terrified. So it's like, wait, that, it should be a delightful thing. So like, right. I, I think Realm can really help make, make it uh, less fear fear inducing and just more fun. That's the approach we have with all of our clients too, is, is what's the biggest investment of your life. And, and oftentimes people are coming in now with no home owner experience. And that's from the, like on the physical side, no idea yeah. why gutters are the way they are. No idea how plumbing works. No idea how electrical works. There's so many things that we, we realize people don't know and we love to explain it. So we call it, we think of ourselves sometimes as a house teacher where mm. um, we or like a home tutor in a different kind of way. And if people just understood the way their house works a little bit more, they'd be smarter homeowners and they'd be better caretakers of their home. But all I'm trying to say, people aren't as handy as they used to be. Um, we see that but, across the board. Like these people who are buying they homes have no experience in the trades. Right. How could you expect people to understand why gutters are so important or waterproofing is so important? That totally. you, need to, you need to learn how this stuff works or have Realm to teach you and take care of you. Yeah, or just get 100%. Realm. Or just make it way easier and just get Realm and don't even bother. Yeah. Totally. Um, yes. Agreed with that. I was showing the app to a homeowner a, a couple days ago and it was a fun experience that I've actually never seen happen before is they had moved in about 18 months ago and they learned for the first time about all these things that were done to the home that weren't apparent to them in the home purchasing process. Like, right. and I'm sure the inspection probably had those, you know, hidden in like a 10 page word document, but they were like, Oh, you don't say like this was replaced then that's awesome. And often we understand their house better than they do. Having tangible, actual information about the history of what's happened in that house seems invaluable. That's worth it alone, I would think. I love it. All right, Liz, it was great to talk to you. It was lovely to meet you. And I, I, I think Realm is going to be a, a really, really, really big deal. And we can't, we can't wait to work with you guys. This was really fun. And I love that you share the same passion and a lot of the same mission that, that we do and I do at Realm. We do. Thank Absolutely. you, Liz.